Excuse me. I want ice cream. You want ice cream? We don't have any ice cream. has to make an introduction. Can you go play please? Thank you. Um, so this week, yes, first of all, yes, that is a sandbox. Yes, it's her pool. Um, yeah, I'm wearing a jersey again. It has my name on it. It's Harris. Look at how I wear it every time I do the video. And y'all wouldn't know that because it's a Harris on the back. But my mama made a good point about putting sand in that bottle. She won't have hair, sand in her hair, and I ain't trying to wash her hair. So it's her kitty pool. Um, but back to the topic at, can at hand. This week we are going. Leon's going to talk about some of his daily struggles um, as a quad. No, nah, seriously. Uh, everything is a struggle, basically. Uh, you know, from the moment I wake up, trying to roll, trying to roll over to get out of bed, I gotta use the headboard, grab one to the side of the bed, and just make sure I have pants on so I can grab my pants and pull myself up. It's the worst. Um. And then from there, uh, what else? Getting up in the morning, I mean, you know, making breakfast. For, it's not too bad. Getting in the refrigerator if it's on the top shelf. That's annoying because we got the little French door refrigerator. So that, that top shelf is uh, virtually inaccessible unless, you know, I use my trusty extra, you know, hand right here. This, 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 this makes sure I'm able to get anything and everything that I need in life. Um, or it's a weapon. Um... What he else? He is going to buy grabbers. Yeah, I'm going to buy grabbers. That crosses people's mind. I broke yeah. grabbers before, though. Yeah. That's the other reason why I'm just, just like lazy with it, but I broke them because I pick up heavy stuff with them. The grabber be like, why? Oh. Uh, the grabber be like, I was made for paper. <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to pick a water bottle up with a grabber. <laughs> um, getting in my house is annoying. Uh, I have like a little step. Uh, so. Trying to maneuver that sometimes. No, we, no, we, no, we, no, we, no, we. She's about to wet up the neighbor. Oh. Yeah, I splash that way, baby. Splash towards your play out. Um, so getting into my house is annoying. I have a little step. Um, so sometimes when I'm lacking a little energy or if I don't have my smart drive on, or if it's wet, because it rains. When it rains, it gets real wet by right the door. And it's very annoying. Um, my backyard is annoying. I love it dearly. I'm so appreciative of the space. So appreciative of the space. No. Shoot the water that way, please. We're getting yeah, rained on by a toddler. I ain't editing it out. Um, my backyard. Yes. It's hilly. Um, it has. It's it's like driving through Philadelphia, and if you don't know, if, or Chicago, what I'm finding out, it's like potholes. It's like potholes for wheelchairs and my caster. Like I think, literally, just by moving here, I broke my front caster living here, being in the backyard. Um, because my I had to get it fixed recently, and it's just 
random pop. It's just annoying. I hate it. It's, it's uneven. It's uneven. I wish somebody could just grade the whole thing. I don't think it's possible. But it is what it is. Uh, getting in and out the car by myself is annoying. Put my chair in. It's not annoying. I, again, I think it's hard to say. It's just it's just a handicap struggle. It's just it's a um, challenge. Yeah, that it's that probably yeah, it's a challenge. Like you just get used to it after a while. You just be like, all right, it is what it is. It is the, um, but I, you know, I have to swing the wheelchair over me, and for some reason now I feel like the way I do it now, I don't believe me because I don't do it enough because of COVID. I'll be forgetting how to do it. That I get stuck. The wheelchair gets stuck. I hit the horn. My wheelchair gets stuck on the um, on the not so hard, baby. My wheelchair gets stuck on my um, spinner knob. It just be all kinds of stuff. Okay, there will be a video on that driving. Yeah, coming up at some point. Yeah, soon. Um, what was I going to say? Showering is a challenge. <sighs> yeah, showering because of how our setup, our bathroom is a little. It, our bathroom is big, but small for a wheelchair. Yeah. So having a shower chair, a wheelchair, and a commode chair and a toilet. It's in a tight spot. Um, Especially now. With I'm getting a shower wind. right now, though. Yeah, we both are Please getting stop. a shower. We did not ask for right now. Especially with the wound in, like, the wound back. When we had yeah. the wound back. Um, I told my homie, I was like, I ain't showering every day. I shower every couple weeks. Not every week, couple weeks, but every couple days. He was like, you dirty. I think it's, it's the life of what you got to deal with. Like, I couldn't shower with the wound back. Now that the wound back is off, I'm able to shower a little more. And I think I've gotten a little stronger, so getting it out the shower is easier than it was. Still, it's mentally scary. Um, I don't think I've fallen out the shower. I haven't fallen out the shower yet. I've fallen transferring from the toilet to the chair, I think, once here. I felt plenty of times at the old condo. Plenty of times. Um... Cooking is cooking is not that much of a challenge as much as I thought it would be, especially with a bigger kitchen. I thought it would be. The only thing I have to worry about is rest. I like to rest my arm on the stove, and I don't think about residual heat from the oven. So then you end up with burns and scars and stuff like that. Um, but cooking is annoying. Because not of bad. your injury level. Oh, yeah, because of my injury level. Yeah, I don't have any sensation in my left hand or left arm. I can't feel hot or cold. So I remember the first couple months he was here and I would give Noelle a bath. I would put my left hand in to fill the water. I'm like, oh, the water's fine for her. And then it dawned on me one day, that's the wrong hand, genius. <laughs> like, you don't know what the water felt like. Um, she never said it was hot. Um... What else is a challenge? <laughs> Noelle's giving you her own show back there right now. Um, um, just doing daily stuff. Like, just trying to be a good husband, good father. You have to wing some stuff or make up your own ways to do, do things. Don't do that. No, thank you. No. Excuse me. Oh, we're not splashing it. It's dirty water. Leave it alone, please. Go back in your water. Got your own private pool. I'll fill it up when we get done. Um, this is longer than I expected to be. Um, but yeah, when you are disabled um, and you're a husband and father, you kind of got to figure out your own way to do things and how to be successful. And like Noel, I have her push me sometimes in the house, or I have she if she wants me to follow her around. I'm glad we have um, we have laminate we have laminate floors. Mm -hmm. She literally just takes my hand and she pulls. She, I let her pull me. She be like, ah, ah. But it's it's a little. It's just another way to have fun. Um, and it just takes like some of the pressure off of being disabled. Um, you know, she just climbs up on my leg, climb up on me, I'm able to sit on my lap and roll around. Um, going for walks is annoying because I like to roll in the street. I'm a street roller, and my daughter is. Monkey see, monkey do. She's a toddler, so she's not supposed to be in the street. So she's like, I want to ride my scooter in the street with daddy. And I'm like, no. And I don't like rolling in the street. I like rolling in the street because the street is a little more even than the sidewalk. Some sidewalks, there's bumps, pop, cracks. Pop, cracks. Yeah. It's, it's angled at a weird angle. It's more pitched in my hand. Like, it's just, it's annoying. Um, These squirrels are aggressive. <laughs> they're boxing. Um. Uh, 
walking is hard. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but I think I mean everything is a challenge. It was just everything is a challenge. Just getting the groceries. We do Instacart. And I have them leave the groceries at the door and just getting the groceries from the door to the kitchen. It's always interesting for me. Like well, I used to use a mommy they, hook. Um, took the groceries that you can't open the door. To even yeah, get they them did that one time. The the Somebody did that. They put the groceries right literally in front of the door. And I'm like, I had to just basically bulldog my way to open the door and knock my groceries on the ground. Yeah. Um, so yeah, mommy hook. Was something that was helpful. Mommy hook is good because I I like me personally. I think a lot of other wheelchair users we use our teeth. That shark don't belong in the water. But the teeth, your teeth should not be used during COVID right now. You should be using things in your mouth that somebody else doesn't touch. Your teeth really aren't made to carry bags. I know they're not made, but I'm just saying the way you said it, like. <laughs> I can't use my teeth right now because of COVID. <laughs> it's like it's it makes it harder. Like getting them bags from back and forth would be much easier. I just throw the thing in my mouth. I'm able to roll. No. I'm Gucci. I mean, it's ama- I'm I'm gonna say it's amazing how God works that you are able to use your teeth when you can't fall. Like I'll be Gucci. Man. It was something else I was gonna say. So some of the things I guess we'll show you guys in the future video will be like some of the things we did around the house, or like the things we have to consider around the house for Leon, like. So you can add the, I'll, I'll send it to you and I'll see if you want to add it. The video of, um, we just put up a cart, uh, shelving in our kitchen to help make like all of our appliances easier for him to get to. And so with stuff like that, like having like a ton of cabinet space, but then having to figure out how to like put everything away so that the things that he need on a daily basis are accessible to him. And then you don't feel like you're wasting space either. Mm -hmm. Um, the way we set up our furniture. Like, even thinking about that, like, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do it. Because if people, like, if we are actually reclining in our recliners, then it makes it harder for him to get to the computer. So then, like, finding a new home for the computer, you know, just the, some of the smaller intricacies of, like, a new home that needs to be accessible that, like, people probably don't even have to think about, have to think about. like, people can do whatever they want. We was thinking about, so when we, we got the shelving in the kitchen... We was thinking about adding a deep freezer next to it as well. Mm -hmm. And we had to have a a, like a 20, 30 minute discussion about it because I was saying if we put a deep freezer next to it, it's going to restrict me from opening the refrigerator up wide enough so that I can get into it. Right. So like we had to measure it all out. And I was I was annoyed. Paper. Okay. (laughs) And um, not even being able like having to be able having to do like a stand up deep freezer not one like you a actually chest. I hate, I hate yeah digging like in. not being able to use a chest and so the space that you want to use is actually not a huge space so like having to measure okay if we put the shelf up here which way will it go because how much room will it leave for us to eventually get a deep freezer in here and then like the type of deep freezer that he would preferably need in addition to it being what I want to match the kitchen <laughs> I need y'all to um Go on our Hope, Harris Hope and Humor Instagram and leave comments for Tierra to recommend that I get a new washer and dryer, like a front loader, because that's more fun. Yeah, baby, it's the ambulance. It's more easier because it's kind of like a chest freezer. Dig in. No, dig it in. The thing about the washer and dryer <clears throat> is that they are fully functioning and coming from a condo where we had stackable washer and dryers i am just still extremely ecstatic for bigger appliances and how deep the washer is that i'm not quite ready to just be like oh let's just get a new one so yeah in the future when we like we gotta get a new washer gotta get a new dryer i would absolutely give him front loading even though i really don't prefer front loading i feel like they seem smaller in the inside that's it that's just me. <laughs> well, we're going to wrap this video up so I can go chase the well around because. She... Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're going to go parent our toddler now before we lose it. Bye. Bye. Well. <laughs>
<laughs> this town ain't big enough. Back up, sister. Back it up. I need more water. No, I need more ammo. I'm out. Get back, get back, get back. <laughs>